Adam and Eve, when they were banished from from the what we can call heaven, right? The the garden. Uh, they were told to that they know how to work for their food. They had to, you know, sacrifice the 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 leisure that they had before, where food just automatically uh, grew from trees to now having to work and having to, I guess, sacrifice that leisure for the reality. Like when we are children, we don't have that much responsibility. But then when we when we become more knowledgeable, when we uh, uh, grow up, we have those responsibilities, right? And so it's almost like our banishment or, or our banishing from, from our parents, for example, right? That separation, we have to fend for ourselves, we have to work. And so it's that process. Is there any correlations, you know, uh, that, that you see with sacrifice, with pain that make us become more mature? In terms of like all the psychology books I've had to read talk about well, they call that resilience. And some people build resilience when they go through a lot of pain and suffering in their life. Other people, it becomes traumatic and causes almost the opposite. Going through really hard times often builds up resilience. And it's when, it, maybe not when during, when you're trying to overcome it, but it's after you overcome it that you become stronger. And yeah, I was, I was going through something hard and it's easier to deal with things in the future. I was listening to a talk the other day of Jordan Peterson and uh, Jocko Willings. I believe that's how it, you pronounce his last name. And this guy, you know, he's been to war, but he, he mentioned something very interesting where he said, war was the best thing that ever happened to my life, but I don't wish that on anyone. You know, when you undergo war or famine or, you know, sacrifice or pain, you know, you don't wish that on people, but some people find the beauty in it you know it's it's a perspective aspect if you have the wrong perspective you can either grow from it or or not you know fall back from it you know pain does in a way have its place in life and sacrifice as well when you know parents have a child you know most of the time you know you'll see that they'll sacrifice their own passions and dreams to nurture the passions and dreams of their child, a self-sacrifice. So it's a it's a very interesting process that that I, I just see throughout different scenarios of life. You know, parenthood, uh, friendships, uh, romantic relationships. People are willing to do whatever it takes to win over a partner. You know, even if it means you know uh, suffering for with them or for them. You know, that's uh, something that that we're willing to go through. Does going through these painful things strengthen us? Does it lead to better things for us? I mean, it changes us, definitely. You know, because he talks about this story of, of this guy who he was taken prisoner. Some nights he couldn't sleep because he had so many wounds that rats were biting at them at night when he was trying to go to sleep. There's just unending suffering. You can't go to sleep. You can't rest it's crazy how how uh how much pain and sacrifice people are able to undergo you know for example in, in the idea of, of christianity you know we have christ you know jesus christ died on the cross which is you know a death that is very uh shameful right because usually people that were uh put on the cross were were shamed upon for having done something very very bad you know we see that there you know that that example of of extreme suffering uh but it was due to preparation prayer you know and love you know those 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 two coming together you know that that helped them undergo that you know of course there's the the level of divinity that that he had of course but you know if we take that example as well in our lives you know we, we see, we can replicate that as well when, when we have to sacrifice our life for, for a friend or for a family member even. I'm willing to take, you know, a hit so that you're okay. Making sacrifices can bring good things. Like you said, we're studying for a test. You had to sacrifice time in order and delay gratification of watching YouTube or doing whatever else you enjoy 
Mm -hmm. We come enjoy to pass the test for a greater good, for a greater goal that's beyond your current immediate pleasure kind of thing. Mm. So sacrifice, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so sacrifice helps us understand long-term goals. Pleasure. Right? Because we sacrifice in the moment, the in, like you said, instant gratification. Mm, I like yeah. that. Instant gratification, you're going to get away from your goals. Unless your goals are just to seek instant pleasure all the time. But most times that's just going to lead you into a rut where you don't get anything done. Yeah, so which means that without pain, pain or sacrifice, like you can never...